Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your December. How they feel. Next move in love messages. Love tower reading. So Sagittarius, we're looking at your person, no matter the circumstance or situation, and you just want to know how are they feeling? What are their next moves? What do they want to tell me? Along with actual love messages as well. All right, Sagittarius. So we have the Journey of Love Oracle here. I'm gonna use, get you some opening messages with this deck and then we'll jump into your reading. Welcome in, Sagittarius. I hope you're all doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time. If you are new or returning, welcome in, welcome in, and thank you. My name is Mary and this is Sunlight Inside Tower. All right, Sagittarius. Let's see what we have for you. December, next move in love messages. Love Tower reading. All right, let's see how they feel too. I forgot that part. Let's see what your opening messages are. So we have acceptance. We have 55 and fives are about change. The temple, 59, which is 14, which is another five about change. Rings of time, 44. Wow, you're getting a lot of double numbers here. Four is about stability foundation and hidden beauty 45 9 which is almost completion full circle new beginning a feeling like maybe this person felt a little out of your league or not good enough um you could have past life with this connection because we do have rings of time and maybe there's been um a lot of time investment in this connection in this lifetime but also could be a past life connection as well but I feel like like this is the highest form of a connection that they've had here with the temple because the temple is like the highest form of worship, a place of worship, altar. Um, it's just like the highest form where you go to worship and pray and that kind of energy. So I think this person is, is accepting the fact that this is a high level type of connection even though they feel like maybe they're not worthy either of the connection possibly you are not good enough um maybe they feel like they're you know they they don't match your looks you know it could be something about beauty as well like they find you very beautiful but they don't feel like they're beautiful enough for you if that makes sense but we do have them ex you know acceptance like accepting the connection and perhaps now coming forward to say, will you accept, maybe this is about marriage, I don't know, commitment, marriage, or something here. Interesting. All right. All right, Sagittarius, let's see. Let's see what is going on. All right, so we have the Golden Universal Oracle here. So I'm going to do a reading with this deck, and then uh, to close it out, we will look into the Hidden Truth Oracle for the love messages from all things intuitive. I don't have a link for that. I did get them on Etsy. They're from 2020. I'm not sure if she's still on Etsy or not. So if you are interested in the cards, um, you could try searching her if you want. Again, it's all things intuitive. And I'll repeat it again at the end. But Sagittarius, let's get into the reading here. Let's see how they're feeling. How do they feel about Sagittarius? Next move and love messages. Let's see. Four. Okay. Sagittarius. And then one on the bottom. All right, let's see. So we have the King of Swords. Lay these out. We'll see what's going on. Magician. Mm. Two of Swords. King of Cups in reversed. Temperance in reversed. And the Two of Pentacles in reversed. So it's odd that we have um, this Two of Pentacles reverse is about being in balance and making a decision and not being on the fence anymore. And maybe leveling out one's life, bringing their life into balance where they're not juggling around so much. It could also be this person didn't have a lot of time for you as well as everything else going on that we spoke of. So I do feel like there's been some, some sort of disconnect here because we do have the temperance in reverse, which is a soulmate connection. You know, it's healing, patience, balance, uh, universal law and order, bringing soulmates together, divine timing. In reverse, I get that as disconnect or maybe possible separation but the king comes to reverse is very open and vulnerable because upright he's my very reserved king who kind of hides their love emotions and feelings but when i get them in reverse with the king of cups that's very open emotional vulnerable maybe a little over emotional at times i do feel like this person uh was blocked about manifesting this with you but 
I do have this King of Swords here, which is about truth, clarity, communication. So I do feel like this person does want to tell the truth about manifesting this life or romance or love with you. They were blocked to this, to being open and vulnerable, which caused the disconnect, but now they're more in balance, no longer on the fence about wanting to um, create this relationship with you. I think that's what we have here. But they were blocked to you and the connection. I, I just feel like this person felt like they weren't, um, not that they weren't ready, they just felt weren't they weren't worthy. So maybe you have different backgrounds, you have def different cultural things going on or ethnicity or things like that uh, i mean you could be very successful and you know maybe they don't feel like they are or vice versa um but i think they're slowly coming around to the energy of like you know what this love is what it is and we just i just need to accept it and let it be what it is instead of trying to disconnect from it because i feel like maybe it's it's something's not in balance but i think that's their own thinking right all right so we have uh gemini gemini virgo pisces sag we are sagittarius season right now as well I think there's a couple weeks left all right so let's dig more here uh sagittarius and actually that's you sagittarius in reverse so they definitely feel like out of balance about you so i don't like i said i don't feel like they felt like you you were they were your equal but I think they're slowly trying, they're slowly coming around and changing their attitude or their mindset about that. All right, Sagittarius. So let's see more about how they feel towards Sagittarius. Let's see. Ace of Swords, yeah, clarity from Source here. Eight of Pentacles. Maybe you worked with this person at one point. Six of Pentacles, yeah, they weren't balanced about this. I mean, they do see how it could work, but yet they were very, very unbalanced about it too. Like they didn't feel like things could be imbalanced, but yet they, they did feel in a way like it could work. Very odd kind of energy. So they could have been putting this in their own mindset that just wouldn't work when it absolutely could work. And they know that. Towers, so there's a wake up call. Awakening, epiphany. This could be right now. Yeah, love. Yeah, there is a lot of love here. There's no denying that. Five of Swords. So they know they with their mindset. I think this is their mindset. They know their mindset is sabotaging this whole connection here. So this is having that wake-up call to the love and realizing, you know, this absolutely could work. It absolutely could work. Two cards of new beginnings here. Ace of Swords, Ace of Cups, Tower, Big Shock, Change, Revelation, Wake-up Call as the Ace of Swords too. It starts with communication, clarity, truth about love blowing their mindset out of the water here so so it could be something happened or they had an experience which totally changed their mindset about the connection as well i'm not sure what that could be but you know maybe you know um maybe they got unsuspected support from family or people around them uh especially if it's a cultural thing or something else or maybe just people tell me, look, you don't worry about it. I mean, you know, if you feel like you're not equal to them, I don't think that really matters with this person. And I don't think it does to you, Sag. You know, if you're a high corporate CEO or something and they just work, you know, at Walmart, I don't think you really care, right? <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. Or vice versa, you know, if that resonates. I mean, that doesn't have to resonate. It's just an example. Uh, but we do have Aries here with the tower, which could be right now for some. Yeah, so I think they have the wake-up call. This could absolutely work. And just seeing the truth, error of their ways, how their mindset sabotaged this. And absolutely, it could work. Even though they felt, you know, I think it was their own mindset putting the energy of there's too much difference or imbalance here for it to work. All right, so let's see what their next moves are going to be. Let's see, Sagittarius, what their next moves are going to be. Tower definitely could be this going on right now for a lot of you. 
or their next move or change happening could be right now. All right. Sagittarius. Let's see what their next moves are going to be. What are their next moves? Oh, we have the Emperor stepping up to the plate here. Nine of Swords. Yeah, a little nervous about a little nervous about it. Nine of Wands. Yeah, they have been blocked, challenged by this Queen of Cups reversed. Double reversed. This is good. You would want that reversed. Seven of Pentacles reversed. So we do have this energy of getting over fear. I heard delusion. So I think they were very uh, delusional about the way they were thinking and they realize that now. So the devil reverse is good is getting over fear, doubt, worry, stress, anxiety, negative thinking, pessimism, doubt, worry, all of that. Seven of Pentacles reverse, no more stalemating. Queen of Cups, they definitely have disconnected from the love connection with you. They definitely have been struggling with that and struggling to accept the love, being open and vulnerable to the love. So they definitely have a little, still a little anxiety here. But I do like the devil in reverse saying getting over that because the emperor here does step up to the plate and make a move, take the lead, uh, getting over that energy. So in control of the energy. So we're going to see a little bit more here. So I do see them more in control and controlling their energy and their thoughts uh, as well. So we're going to see what their next moves are going to be. So they are planning to take the lead. So we're going to see how they're going to do that. So we have Aries, Cancer, Capricorn. I kind of see this nine of wands of, as holding that ace of wands as ready to come in here, fiery, passionate, go-getter, now to come in now and make it happen as well. All right. So let's see. Let's see. More about their next move. The Sagittarius. More about their next move. The Sagittarius. Let's see. What else do we need to know about our next move towards Sagittarius? Oh, Empress on the Emperor. Are you kidding me right now? Okay. Queen of Wands. Knight of Swords Reverse. So I think they're going to be very careful about this. Page of Wands. So there's a communication coming in. Nine of Cups Reverse. I think they've been unhappy, you know, with everything they've um, done here. So we have the moon. So they don't know what the path ahead is going to look like. And I do think this they've been un un unhappy about their course of action, um, the way they've been thinking about things. So we do have this page of wands coming in. It could be a text, a phone call, a message of some sort coming in first. They just don't want to come barrel assing in with that Knight of Swords reverse. Knight of Swords reverse is the fastest. Well, the Knight of Swords is the fastest knight. When it's reversed for me, it becomes the slowest night, which is the Knight of Pentacles. But I think them, this is them just being very wise, practical, and smart about this. They just don't want to come rushing in out of nowhere. So they're, you know, thinking about this carefully. They want to do this right. Queen of Wands, again, though, is about taking the lead. Could be same sex for some, because uh, we do have the Empress and the Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands is kind of like the um, minor of the Empress. But, you know, it doesn't have to be same sex. I mean, this is any scenario. So same sex or not, whatever it is for you. Uh, but the Empress here, I mean, we have the Emperor and the Empress. And males can be feminine. Females can be masculine. So there's the couple right here taking the lead. I'm going to be very careful about this. But I do am coming in here very fiery, passionate, go-getter. But I'm going to be very, very careful because I don't feel happy or fulfilled right now. And I did have a lot of fear of the path ahead. And I don't know what the path ahead looks like. But I'm ready to come in here and take that risk to see if, you know, we can still go down this path. Okay, so we have Libra Taurus and the Empress does create new beginnings. So they're definitely interested in that. So we have, and there's, you know, holding the wand, holding the wand. I was just talking about this nine of wands, holding the wand here and here. Libra Taurus, Aries, uh, Aquarius. Sag right here with the Page of Wands and Pisces. All right. So let's see, Sagittarius, what they want to tell you with clarifiers. And then we'll jump into the love messages. But if it does resonate so far, please do like, comment, all the good things. Be greatly, greatly appreciated. All right, Sag. What do they want to tell Sagittarius right now? 
King of Pentacles. Yeah, I wasn't stable and grounded before uh, for commitment because I just didn't feel like I was worthy or I was of your stature. You know, maybe there was a difference in finances and that was a thing and that was a big deal for them. You know, maybe they lost their job. You know, they had a lot going on financially that was affecting their thought process in this connection as well. Five of Cups reversed though. Yeah, I from a distance from you and feeling that sadness, loss, and grief, I want to come out of that energy and embrace the Two of Cups with you. I've been burning myself down for this, about this for no reason. And that's what's been keeping me at distance from you, reuniting with you. I was confused, illusioned with the Seven of Cups. I didn't know what to do. But I don't want to be in conflict. I don't want conflict between us. I want to get over that. So we have Virgo showing up here. Let's see what else. I want to take that risk. Leap, faith, leap of faith, fresh, clean slate, energetic reset, no baggage, not carrying anything with me, a new beginning. I want to come in with the offer and I hope you will accept it. I don't want to hold back anymore for Pentacles reversed. I hope it's not over. Ten of Swords. So, I mean, this person is looking up at all the Ten Swords coming in, knowing something is done and it's happening. But they're definitely, they're a little worried about that, that maybe it could be over for good. But like I said, Knight of Pentacles here, Knight of Swords reverse. I felt Knight of Pentacles here, being wise, practical, and smart. They want to go about this the right way and not rush anything either. But they're ready to start a new cycle here. Definitely could be at a distance. They have a solid new offer opportunity for you with the Ace of Pentacles. And they want to move love forward now with you. Romantic gestures, the sand gestures, love, emotions, and feelings as well. Could have longevity on their mind. Ten of Pentacles here. There's no denying the connection. Two of Cups. Healing. Can we heal this? It's something meant to be. I definitely feel that. You know, healing, balance, wish dream come true. Yeah, at the crossroads, but I'm choosing the path. I've had the wake-up call, and I'm may making the decision to come in here fiery, passionate, and make this happen. I want it as well. So that you Sagittarius with the Knight of Wands. So obviously, Sag, it's up to you if you're still interested in this person. But now it looks like they're getting out of their um, negative mindset, I feel, about this. All right. So let's get you some hidden truth oracle love messages. See what else you need to know. Again, this is by All Things Intuitive. You can try to find her on Etsy. Like I said, I'm not quite sure if she's still there. That's where I got them. And it was four years ago. So this deck is from 2020. All right. And everything you do need to know, uh, Sag, is down below in the description box. So please feel free to check that out. All right. Messages for Sag. Let's go. I know that I crossed the line with you. All right. We both know I am not the one for you. So I think they, they were putting all this in their head, but they couldn't stop thinking about you. So, I mean, they know they crossed the line with you. So they may have said and done some things. I mean, we did have the King of Swords out that perhaps they wish they didn't say. And maybe they were just telling themselves and you, I'm not the one, I'm not the one, I'm not good enough. Maybe they didn't exactly tell you that, but they did have that mind frame as you know there's either too many differences or i'm not good enough or you're too good for me but definitely can't stop thinking about you i love when i saw you with someone so they may have had a misconception about that and maybe they thought you know okay maybe i'm right that i'm not good enough and they do want to be together again it was my fault but i blame you yeah so they may have blamed you for something but really, it was, you know, their own mindset and their own thinking of things. I left before you could leave me. So they might have a mindset, too, where I don't want to get hurt. Um, but they know that you were the best thing in their life. So they may have, you know, there's that I'm afraid to contact you. But I hope that you can forgive me. So, yeah. So maybe they have that mindset, too. Well, I don't want to get hurt. So I'm just going to, you know, back away because of all this energy, too. And... You know, before I get her, I'll just kind of disconnect myself. But I do feel like they're going to come in here and finally say, you know, this is what I was thinking and I'm ready now. So obviously it's going to be up to you, Sagittarius, what you want to do with this, but that's what I have. All right, Sagittarius, uh, that's what I have. I hope it helped it resonated. Again, I'm wishing you the best. 
Happy birthday. I forgot to wish you happy birthday. Happy birthday, Sagittarius. I usually say it at the beginning. Anyway, wishing you the best. Have a happy birthday, and I shall see you next time.